But uh, which one are we moving on to, Clay? All right, let's bring it a little closer to home. Yeah. Right. So we 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 you and I have not mm -hmm. discussed January sixth on this show at any length at all. We really um, haven't. You're right. We we really haven't. And uh, but today, well, not today. I think it came out yesterday. I saw it this morning headline. Mm -hmm. You know, there is now. Um, this is not. This is not a conspiracy theory. This is right coming to coming to light that there is now evidence that has been suppressed by the January 6th committee of right. President Trump encouraging and offering National Guard troops for the Capitol on that day, prior mm -hmm. to that day, but on for that day, for security, additional security. So what does that mean? Well, it means he, he clearly, if he was offering and encouraging more security, he clearly wasn't looking to incite a government overthrow on that right. day. Changes that, the whole, puts the, the whole narrative, narrative right on its head, right? Out, out, the, window. Right? Yeah, out, the, out window, the window, gone, yeah. uh, blown away to smithereens. And, you know, one of the, the there's so many notable things about this, but uh, that, you know, Liz Cheney was, was uh, one of the people, significant people, who said that that did not exist, that didn't happen, didn't exist. We know nothing about it. And now we have direct, um, you know, statements and proof uh, that are completely contrary to that. And, uh, you know, to, to make the understatement of the day uh, certainly paints her in an extremely bad light and will do her no service whatsoever. Uh, just out of curiosity, and the thought just came to my mind, is there, um, and there probably isn't, is there any uh, legal, um, ramifications to her. I mean, she lied. That's a lie. That's a, a, a willful lie, right? I, no, no legal ramifications for that. I'm guessing. Um, right? I, I, there is potential. I would have to, I, I, I'm not a lawyer folks, not, not even close, but <laughs> this is a case of, of suppressing evidence. Mm -hmm. So depending on what legal path this goes through, um, you know, you you would assume that there is some sort of legal ramification for suppressing evidence, mm -hmm. um, which would fall on specific individuals, but probably on the committee as a whole. Um, okay. I, I don't know how that would play out and at what level of court that would play out, uh, because she did it as a Congress person on a committee on mm -hmm. behalf of the federal government. It, it, that one's a tough one. I would imagine there's legal precedent out there. I would bet if you kind of look back to Watergate or something like that, you'd probably find it. But, um, you know, the, the, the immediate part of it is all of the, all of the things that everybody's been kicking down the road, the conspiracy theories about January 6th, right? It's the, right. you know, the, the security guards let people in, they were invited in, the ropes were opened up, they were guided through the hallways, all of those things that so many people have been saying, oh, that's impossible. Oh, that never happened. Oh, that's bogus. It's bullshit. Blah, 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 blah. Now, now it all comes back into, into question because now right. you can't rely on what the committee is telling you because you have proof. We have proof that they were suppressing evidence. Right. So now, now you question, re-question everything. You know, sure. they had some, as much as people didn't want to believe them, you had no reason to believe them other than personal opinion or reason not to believe them per than personal opinion. Now mm -hmm. you've got reason to not believe them. Because right. you do have proof that they were doing underhanded things in this process. You know, it was bad enough that, you know, the, sh the shaman guy, right? He's been, he was in jail for so long without being charged. Right. All these people have been held, you know, I, blah, you know, all the unconstitutional things that have been going on. And, and then now you have this. Yes. And this is directly related to the committee itself, directly. So, directly. Yeah. And like you said, this this puts into question every single thing that they have said and done throughout this entire process. And rightfully so, every single thing that they have done and said should be uh, under a microscope now, you know, with a fine tooth comb and tweezers and, and everything, because um, I don't know, can can this fall under the category of treason? Was he I mean, it feels treasonous, but I don't know if that fits quite yeah. in the category of that it's not quite there right yeah like it I feels like it but yeah it it, it it it's it's dirty it's underhanded it's a lot of things yeah. I, I don't i don't think it fits in the the box of treason okay um, but but again listen i i'm one of those people that i'm not a fan of what happened that day at all mm -hmm. Nonviolent. I, I think it's been overblown i don't think it was an insurrection i don't think anybody had any intent of trying to overthrow the government or congress or anything that day i think that's yeah. all complete hogwash but 
but I don't agree with even the forceful, semi-forceful entry, invited entry into the halls of Congress on that day. Like, I, I think right. that was, you know, out of hand, unnecessary. I think it was irrational. Um, so I don't necessarily agree with that. Mm -hmm. um, and obviously the tragedy that ensued afterwards, you know, right. fatalities and, and, and all of those things. Mm -hmm. So it was all bad. Um, but it's been overblown. Um, right. And now this takes a lot of wind out of that. Because truthfully, now you do go back to, like we said, all the things that you were suspicious of or maybe kind of didn't want to believe, but now you kind of at least have to think about, you know, mm -hmm. did, did they get invited in? Whether you believed it or not, maybe now right. you go, well, did they? You know, did, mm -hmm. did, did Nancy Pelosi really turn down the National Guard like it's been accused of? And the, right. ma and the mayor of Washington, D.C. And, and all those people, you know, the Capitol Police and, and, and everybody who was involved. Like, what is really what happened? And why, why the false narrative? Yeah, that, yeah, that's, absolutely. That's and, and I think we can all come to pretty, you know, pretty significant singular conclusions to the why did they do that? Why did this happen? And it all revolves around uh, Donald Trump. It all comes down to making sure that he is ineligible for ever being president again in this country. If they had their way, of course, he'd be in prison and, and locked up for life. And, um, you know, so of course the question does become, were they willing, were they so willing to create an entirely false or at least a majority, majority of a for, false narrative um, to make that happen? And, and if that's the case, which it certainly appears to be um, to a lot of people, um, and of course, you know, I have to be careful how we phrase everything. I have to come up with some kind of disclaimer to put on our um, in our show notes because uh, this conversation could certainly get suppressed by certain platforms because they don't want us talking about it. So uh, I don't know, maybe if I say something like for entertainment purposes only, I don't know. I'll come up, I'll come up with something, but yeah, I mean, and, and, and I'm not kidding you guys, you know, if somebody comes on here and watches this show and, and is of the mindset that us conservatives are, you know, making up this whole, um, censorship thing and this whole thing. No, we're not because I've had videos removed. I've had content, uh, blocked and banned and gotten violations for simply discussing what we're discussing right now just talking about it, not even giving an opinion, just talking about it. So please come have that argument with me that we're not being suppressed. Please, 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 please. I've got the receipts, um, but okay, I'm off my soapbox on that because it <laughs> makes me so angry, <laughs> but that is the case. But uh, but anyhow, um, you know, so if this is the case, if this is concretely, but let's say it's concretely, but we're playing devil's advocate here, or uh, maybe Angel's Advocate. Um, this is completely proved to be a narrative created by these people, this committee, Pelosi, all of these people in order to, um, you know, vilify Trump. Um, what, again, and I always go for this question because I feel like, I, you know, I feel like I know the answer, but I, I hate the answer and it makes me furious. Um, what's the consequence? What happens? Nothing, yeah. right? No, so there's no physical legal consequence. Here is the risk assumed again let's go back to your premise your principle that that this is manufactured the whole thing was mm -hmm. manufactured oh by the way um that's kind of what the cia does they're, they're not supposed to do it here but but globally that's kind of what they do anyway mm -hmm. they they know where i live anyway i'm a retired army officer if they want to come find me they, can't. <laughs> they um, can find you easily <laughs> yeah, it's um but the the repercussions are is that the risk is is it's a failed attempt and it all it does is strengthen the base this is this is oh, yes. you know we've said this before these the all of these lawsuits all the charges everything that's going against you know president trump to try and keep him off the ballot because that's mm -hmm. what this is about is trying to keep him off the ballot right um, all this does is strengthen the base yes. so th this you know you, you start to have more moderates or more you know conservatives who aren't trumpers you mm -hmm. know look at this and they go are you really like and th and then they do start to move more and more to the right so you right. start to yeah. you know you, it does start to affect the middle right and we've talked about the middle so many times before the hard mm -hmm. right and the hard left are easy it's the middle you fight for and this is where they start to lose the middle when when things like this happen so yeah. there's no physical legal 
ramification to to what you're talking about charges filed or you know and if they are they're probably years down the road and and truthfully the people involved will probably be dead somewhere you know they'll be clinton and yeah. <laughs> uh and, and it won't matter um right. but the, the immediate ramification is they lose the election that mm -hmm. i mean that's that is what happens so yeah. you know all these efforts we've talked about this before to keep president trump off the ballot they continue to fail and all it does is strengthen his base that's it yeah yeah and and you know as much as i'd like to um see them in jail you know see them prosecuted for for every every lie that they have told at the expense of this country um i i will take that consequence if that if that were to be it that you know that this changes the tide and wakes up enough people to say that what's happening now uh whether it's your party or your uh opponent's party this is not right this is not okay and we can't allow we can't say that is it acceptable for our government to to do that uh, just because we want this person to win or we want this other person to lose um you know you can't subvert our system and the way that it's supposed to run just because you didn't get what you want um Man, oh man, I, I I hope that's the case. I hope that turns turns the tide and and wakes some people up out of their, um, I don't know, complicit nature to just say it'll all work itself out, or that's not my problem, or you know, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna let my vote you know speak for me, and that's great. You should be. I'm not saying don't vote, um, but you know, the problem is 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 all of this stuff um, really undermines and erases people's trust in our system in our in our voting system in our government as a whole and, and i think we already know you know i don't have a poll in front of me to tell tell me what it is but i i would venture a guess that the number of people if polled uh if asked that uh where what where's your trust at in our government right now in their honesty and truth i'm pretty sure um there's going to be a very very small small amount that'll say i trust the government of course i do and uh, a much larger percent that says zero trust zero faith zero confidence uh in them and, and that's got to change you know that's got to change and that's going to be that's going to be on them and if it's going to be trump then it's on him uh to, to fix this problem and, and bring back that transparency and that trust level and can he do it? I mean, I haven't the faintest idea. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. He's he's pretty combative, so I don't know. <laughs> and we're going to talk about the the you know, in a little bit, we're going to talk about the the failure to unite uh, 